Hi scholars, it's Miss Dunn. We're gonna do some math together today and we're gonna practice looking at quantities to find the groups of tens and ones that we see in it and also practice counting in a new way today. Counting in a way called the say 10 way where we're saying the group of 10 that we see and saying how many more ones. So if I look at this model to figure out the quantity and to match it to the number, I see a group of 10 right here because the 10 frame is filled up and I see some more ones. One, two, three, four. So I see four ones and then a group of 10. So instead of saying the number that matches this as 14, I'm gonna say it in the say 10 way where I'm saying the group of 10 that I see and some more ones. So I would say this as 10 and four. And if I wrote it, it would look like this. The numeral 10 that represents the group of 10 that I see. The word and, A and D spells and. And the numeral four for the four more ones. So today we're gonna to be playing the game called Guess My Number, where I'm gonna be showing you a model of a quantity similar to this, and your job is to figure out the number that matches that quantity. But you're gonna be telling me the number in the say 10 way. And if you want a challenge, you can also practice writing that number in the say 10 way like this. If you choose today to say the number and to write the number in the say 10 way, please pause this video to get the materials that you need to play the game with me, which is a writing tool and something to write on. Great. So here's our first model. Our model is of fingers. You're gonna figure out what number you see that matches this quantity. Great. So I see two hands here. We know that one hand has five fingers, another hand has five fingers, so five and five is the same as 10. So here's our group of 10, and here's some more ones. I see one finger, two fingers. So two more ones. So remember, we're not saying 12 that matches this quantity, we're saying in the say 10 way, which is saying the group of 10 and saying some more ones. So it would sound like 10 and two. If I was to write it, it would look like this the numeral 10, the word and, and the numeral two. Great, let's do another one. I'm gonna be showing you another model. The models may change, but your job is still the same. You're still looking for the quantities that you see and matching it to the number in the say 10 way. So our model is dots or circles. Great. So this already looks like a group of five because it reminds me of a dice. So here's five and here's five. And I know that five and five is same as 10. So here is my group of 10 and I see one more. So here's one more one. So if I would say this quantity in the say 10 way, it would sound like 10 and one. If I was to write it, it would look like this, 10 and one. Great. Let's do another one. Our next model is our 10 stick and some more one cubes. So we're trying to figure out what number we see that matches this quantity. Remember that good mathematicians look for the groups of 10 and groups of ones. Great, so I see a 10 stick here. I know right away that a 10 stick is the same as 10 cubes or 10 ones. So here's a group of 10 and some more ones. I can count my ones by ones like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or I can try to see them in, in groups where I see a group of two here, a group of two, and a group of two. So I can practice counting that by twos. Two, four, six, and one more is seven. So I have a group of seven more ones and a group of 10. So if I say this number in the say 10 way, it would sound like 10 and seven. Great, let's do another one. And if at any point, when I'm showing you the model like this, you need to pause the video so that you can practice saying and writing the number in the say 10 way, please do so and work at your own pace. The model that we're seeing is our 10 frames. We can see that right away, 
one of the 10 frame is filled up. So I know right away that this is a group of 10 because there's 10 dots. I filled up the 10 frames. And then here's my more ones. So I can count this ones by one like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or I can try to see them in smaller groups. So I see a group of three on the top and a group of three in the bottom. So I know that three and three, same as six. So I know that I have six more ones and one group of 10. So if I say this in the say 10 way, it would sound like 10 and six. Great, let's do another one. Our next model is fingers. We're saying the number and writing the number in the say 10 way if you choose a challenge yourself. I see two hands, so I know that five fingers and five fingers the same as ten fingers. So here's my group of ten and some more ones. One hand with five fingers. So I have a group of ten and a group of five more ones. So if I say it in the say ten way, it would sound like ten and five. Great. Let's do another one. Our next model is our ten stick and some more ones. Remember that good mathematicians look for groups of tens and groups of ones. Okay, so I see a 10 stick and I know right away that's my group of 10 because there's 10 cubes, it's the same as one 10 stick. And there's my ones. I could count by ones, just like I've been practicing. Or I can see these ones in smaller groups. So I see a group of three, a group of three, and a group of three. So I can practice counting by threes if I know it. Three, six, nine. The last number I said is nine, so I now have nine more ones and one group of ten. So the say ten way would sound like ten and nine. Great. Let's do another one. The next model again is our ten stick and some more ones. What number in the say ten way? matches this quantity. Here's our 10 stick. So here's our group of 10. Here's our ones. We can count by ones or I can see them in other groups. Here's a group of four and here's a group of four. I know that four and four is the same as eight. So I have eight more ones and one group of 10. The say 10 way would be 10 and eight. Great. We have two more. And again, if you need to pause the video when I show you the models, please do so and work at your own pace. The next model is our dots or our circles. What number do you see? Great. So here's a group of five, because again, it looks like a dice. And I know that five and five is same as 10. So here is my group of 10. And then I have three more ones. So the say 10 way would be 10 and three. And our last one is our model of fingers. What number in the say 10 way matches the quantity that you see of fingers? So here I see a group of 10 because two hands are 10 fingers. And I see another group of 10 for 10 fingers. So if I would say this in the say 10 way, it would be 10 and 10. The numeral 10 that matches our 10 fingers here and the numeral 10 that matches our 10 fingers here. Great. Nice job, scholars. Thanks for playing that game, guess my number with me. For the rest of the week, we're gonna continue practicing seeing quantities in groups of 10s and 1s and practice counting in our new way, the say 10 way. So I hope you have a great rest of the day and we'll see you soon. Bye.